Y'all already know who it is, man. It's the kid, twin man, checking in on my dog, E, and folks I make TV. We in the fold with it now, for real. Yeah, hey, yeah, man. Twin, man. What's going, man? What's going, man? What's going? TV, man. Welcome, bro. Thank you. Thank you for having yeah. me, bitch. Oh. Man, congratulations, man, on all the recent success, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've been hitting and missing, but I tell you, as far as just like getting up on the interview, yeah. but as far as the most requested interview, man, by far, everybody like, hey, man, why I twin ain't been on the show? <laughs> I man. appreciate why that. Ain't had them, you know, <laughs> I man. appreciate it. I be busy, man. You know, I be working. I don't be down here, so you know. Oh yeah. I told sure, you once, man. I once I came down here, it was time to do it. Well, definitely. For tell, sure. tell them about like you know what I'm saying, like 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 what you been on like over the last year and shit, like how everything been going and stuff. Man. man, over the last year, everything has been going crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. It ain't. It it's starting to hit me now for real, for real. Right. So, I started rapping. You feel me? I ain't gonna get up here and count nigga be like, oh, I've been rapping my whole life and all that. No. Right. I just started rapping literally probably like a year and a half ago, for real, for real. And within like six months, shit just started going up and like everything. Like, I dropped the tape, you feel me? I dropped it on Criminal. And once I dropped it, after that, it was over, for real. And probably about like February, March of last year, like, yeah. And my shit started popping, for real. Ever since then, it's just been going crazy, going back and forth, back and forth. Because at the time, when I first started making music, at the time, you know, I was stationed in um, Kentucky. Right. So, I was doing that travel, I was doing that back and forth almost every weekend. Right. When, it, when it started popping, right. I was getting requested, I had to start doing shows and stuff, everything. And it's so crazy because I ain't playing none of it out at all. Like, at all, I ain't playing none of it out. It's so crazy because when I first started doing music and it first started popping and shit, motherfucker hit me up like, oh, uh, I'm trying to talk to your manager, I'm trying to talk to this person, that person. Right. I ain't had no manager at the time. Right. I ain't had no nothing, you feel me? Because I ain't, I ain't even think it was that major, you feel me? But then right. people just kept telling me, like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to keep going because you are. And after that, I just kept sticking right. with it. And then, right. and now we we're going to get into the journey, man, for sure. For, for sure. sure, man. Uh, you know, for the people that, you know what I'm saying, that's been waiting for this interview and yeah. everything like yeah. that, man. Let, we're gonna, we're gonna take them to the beginning, man. Let, let the people know, like, you know, where you from, where you grew up. Oh, uh, man, I'm from Macon, Georgia, you feel what I'm saying? Grew up on the south side and the east side, you feel me? Um, like, what, I think we probably like 10. My mama moved up from the south side um, all the way to the east side of Fort Hill, shot at Fort Hill. And so, kind of, um, I raised over there, like, they still stay over there till their day, you feel me? Right. But I was back and forth from the right. east side to the south side. My grandma and them stayed on 2nd Street. All my aunties and all that, they stayed on L Street. We came up when my mama had it, you feel me? We uh, was in by the home, you feel me? So that's where I'm from, you feel me? And it just went from there. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, for the people that's, you know what I'm saying, especially the people that's not from Georgia, like, how would you describe, like, growing up, you know, specifically on the east side and the south side of Macon? Like, what, what, what set it apart from there? Well, I ain't gonna count. The south side way different for itself, it like uh, anything you're making. Only reason why is because it like a lot of people be dying talking to south for real. Like they be scared to say they from the south. Like coming up, everybody be like, oh yeah, all the ugly girls over there, all the bums, all the jade crackheads, all that over there. You feel me? But it ain't really like that. I mean, it is that for real. Now they ain't capping by that, but you know what I'm saying? It's still it's good stuff over there. You know what I'm saying? East side, folk here, man. It's all love over there every time. You know what I'm saying? Um, growing up over there, it's the same. It's just making in general, like everybody got everything, you know what I'm saying? You got your sets over here, you got, you feel me, drug dealers, you got crime, people breaking in highs, all that, that everywhere. So yeah. that's just part of making. That's what Cohen kind of making, so that's what it is for real. Yeah. Like, uh, like growing up and making, like, did you ever, like, you know what I'm saying, notice like the music scene? You uh kind of like get into the making music scene growing up. Like how was the making music scene? So like, so, honestly, I ain't start getting into it until later on, like growing up, like a teenager, and started realizing like oh certain stuff came from him, certain stuff originated here. Like watching movies and stuff like that, you see everybody like Older Red and you see them on Little Richard, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. And in the movie you'll see oh making George Drake from making George. You like what? Like nah, I ain't know that. You feel me? But now, me right here, right now, I know a lot of stuff now to the point where, like, a lot of stuff really originated out of the fold, and that's crazy. Like, yeah. so, 
I, when I be making music now and stuff, it kind of like, I might well diss it for it because it like, it here, it's in the city, you feel me? And everybody always think, oh, you got to be from Atlanta to do whatever and stuff like that. No, bro, you just got to work for real. You got to have a, a hard work ethic. If ain't nobody can't outwork you, then who going to beat you, you know what I'm saying? Right, for real. right. So, um, you know, talk about like growing up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who was twin before the music? Like, you know what I'm saying? How, how, how was you moving? Oh uh, man, but for the music, just regular, regular kid from the folk for real. Um, playing basketball, what? Going to the store, hanging with my uh, cousins and stuff like that. That really what it was. Crazy, funny kid that always laugh, always playing. Growing up, people tell me I used to play too much for real. That I was that person, like clad, climb, all that. But for the music, like anything, that's all we were doing. Hooping for real. Really had hoop dream, but. I suck, so I can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel? You but you, basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, but that's what we're doing. Getting into trouble, chasing girls, doing whatever, you know what I'm saying? Getting into it with your people and stuff like that. That really what it was. Like, that just would come with it with growing up, though. Everybody go through that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Got that little rebellious stage where well, nobody can't tell you, you know, you in teenager stage. Right. At 16, 17, oh, nobody can't tell you. Man, then, then you feel like you grown, you can do whatever. But really, no, nah, you know. And then you can't do that, like, that ain't really what it's supposed to be. I had a regular job, you feel me? I started off at KLC. My first job was KLC. Yeah. For real, on the east side, on God. Right down the street from Road Jetson, on God. Yeah. 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 So, like, uh, you know, like, what, what, what kind of led, like, do you, like, get into the military and stuff, like, out of school? Like, it's so crazy. I get that question all the time. I usually get that question from people in the military, and they ask you, like, oh, why did you join? And people be wondering, oh, I did this to serve my country and all that. No, I didn't do it for none of that. The cheese was good, and that was the fastest way out my mama high. That's the real deal why I joined the military, because you feel me? Me and my mama, boy, oh, we, she ran a tight ship, you feel me? So I'm like, I got to get up out of here. I got to do my own thing, go somewhere, you feel me? That was the quicker way out. I knew I ain't want to go to school, because I was like, I'm done with school. After you graduate, you're like, man, I'm done with school. Everybody try to go to college and follow that way, but... College ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, right. now I'm like, nah, I don't want to go to school. And at the time, my sister was going to school and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, cool. She already going to school. She can be, take the book. She be, I'm going. So, uh, I got to go with my own route. To the Advab at school. Cause you know, they get to me in 11th to a grade. To the Advab, let's go with how on it. After that, they came looking for me. The recruiter came looking for me. They like, oh, you got the highest uh, Advab school in the school. Like, What's up? Like every branch was looking for me. Air Force, Navy, Army, Marine, all of them. All the recruiter, cause they had got my test code back or whatever. My ROTC teacher came and got me out of lunch. He like, buddy, recruiter been looking for you all day, like nonstop. So how it happened? Came what like that weekend after that? Me and my mom and my pop, we went um to the mall, to the recruit station. And they were like, what you wanna do? They like, you gotta um go so high you can get any job in the military that you wanna do. So I'm like, okay, cool. Initially, I was like, let's do it. Let's do a nurse. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a nurse. They were like, that close. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, what else you got? They trying to get me to drive a tank or something crazy. My mama wasn't going for that. Yeah. She's like, yeah, no, nah, you ain't doing that. Man, crazy like that. Uh, then, so then, then they, you know, I went to Melts. When I went to Melts, they gave me another set of jobs that had jet open for the new fiscal year or whatever. Yeah. And then, you know, they came across um, veterinarian. They like, hold up. My recruiter, when he seen it, he like, we got veterinarians in the army. He didn't even know it. He like, but what? Yeah. I like, shit. Yeah. Close enough to a nurse, let's do it. I'm like, I ain't got to shoot nobody. I ain't got to do nothing crazy. Yeah. Let's do it. So, that's how that happened. So they like it when I start popping my shit. I just did it cause I ain't have shit to do. Dude. I been rapping for six months, dropping first tank. Yeah, that bitch that went through the roof. Ooh. Kept me speeding, I'm Broadway. Yeah, I was switching lanes. 